Hey guys, today we're going to do an alcohol ink resin pour for keychains. As you see, I already got my resin mixed up. I've also waited five minutes for the bubbles to all dissipate. And I, I shot it with the air gun just for a little bit to heat it up and get the last little bubbles out of there. So I didn't mess myself up. Um, one of my letters, I did over pour the resin. You'll see me go back on the letter V and I'll have to dig some out. So just be mindful when you pour in your resin, don't over pour it because I'm adding alcohol ink. So I needed to have a little bit of space to um, actually add enough ink to it. So enjoy guys. Oh, I had a little bit too much resin. So I added this Mickey Mouse mold, mini mouse mold. Uh, and you'll see that at the end of the video too, how I finished that off. Just scraping the last little bit but like i said i over poured that v so you're gonna see me go over there and pull some of that resin out of there not the most delicate technique but it works all right guys i'm gonna start with the magenta alcohol ink I just love this color so beautiful to me so most of the letters I'm doing in the same color scheme the V is for a male and he wanted the school colors so I did that one a little bit different now you see me shaking up my goal to add that one as well and that's gonna go on that V A little bit of purple. And that's the black and that's going to go in that V. And then the white because you know the magic doesn't happen until you add that white to it. That's what get those colors really moving. As you can see, they're starting to bleed and move. The yellow I'm going to add to the Minnie Mouse. I'll turn the camera just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. And the resin, uh, the alcohol ink I'm using is the Pinata brand, I think. And you now you just see me mixing the colors. Trying to hurry up and add all the colors. Now I'm just going back over with the same colors I named already before. I think that one is the purple. Going back in with a little more white over there on the mini mouse. Now it's the next day. I'm going to demold them. Uh, there's the mini mouse and the bow. I actually had a little bit of resin left over and I did the bow with just some um, yellow glitter. Now I'm showing you that um, that side view. Of the resin mold I love how it, the colors pull down and now I'm going to show you how I secure my keyhole locks I take the some alcohol I mean I'm sorry some UV resin and I put it right on the spiral part and I'm cleaning it up a little bit because uh, I added a w way too much just then but then I just spin it on down and I like for the resin to come up over the top of it just a little bit and down into the inside. So I, I do that and then I just get my UV light and shine that on there for a few seconds. Oh, 
all secure. I don't know if you noticed, but when I showed you the um, the J or the letter, it had a little concave shape. I didn't go back in like I usually do go back in and put a little bit more resin to bevel those out a little bit. So they nice to have a nice smooth edge. Um, I did go back and do it after the video. Just cleaned them up with the nail file and then um, put some resin on top of them. I used UV resin for most of them, but the ones I left in the mold, I just added a little bit more resin to them. Now you see me getting my pieces together to do the actual key ring. Just going to show you how I do my key rings. I do add a, a few pieces to it. Not too heavy, but I like for it to have a little bling to it. You'll see it says uh, she believed she could, so she did. I also have a he believed he could, so he did um, charm two for the guys. Because like I said, that V is for a guy. The J is actually for my daughter, so that's why I was working on that one. For some reason, I struggle with opening and closing these um, this day. I just couldn't get the, the pieces to open and close for me like I wanted them to. You'll see me try like two or three times to get this to close. All right, last thing to do is add that last ring and add that the actual lock for the key ring. I use a heart pendant with an easy open key ring clasp to it. And there's the finished keychain. With all its dangly little pieces. If you stay tuned to that towards the end, I'll show you some pictures of all the keychains all finished, all beveled out. Looking really nice. I'm put a few things away, then I'm gonna pop this V and demold that one for you. It came out really good. So we just use black, gold, white, and yellow on this one. You can barely see the yellow, but there's a little bit of yellow in there too. And now I'm just showing you the file. Um, remember, this one was, was the one I over poured with resin. So it had a few sharp pieces when I took it out. So I just take a little regular nail file, brush off those pieces, make sure you're it's well ventilated and you're wearing your mask when you're doing that. So you don't have any resin pieces. I usually clean it with alcohol when it's done. And then um, go ahead and finish it off, finish the piece off. And now this is me just showing you those colors again. That fantastic bleed, because I love that. And then the back from where it falls. I love it. This is also a um a Christmas ornament that I uh did a, a alcohol ink resin pour on. I do monogram these or um yeah, I could use monogram. Sometimes I do a picture or whatever you want it. I love this one. Once again, that fall and bleed I love. And then there's the back of it. That would be gorgeous on the tree with a little ribbon in there. And last but not least, here's the Minnie Mouse. I use these for uh, Pop-Up's phone stand, which I have a picture of at the end. If you stay tuned to the end. Really easy. Really gorgeous. I love it. I love it with a little bit of clear left in there too. Just showing you the side. I couldn't get the camera to focus correctly, but 
so that you can see that fall and there's the back piece of it if I can get it to focus there you go and then the little bow I'm just gonna hold it up against there so you can see what it looks like together it is really shiny I use some really sparkly um, glitter and that's what it looks like all put together absolutely gorge and I'm just gonna pop out one more letter so you can see it it turned out really good I love that co color combination look at that bleed I love the way that resin falls that ink falls in there I'm sorry absolutely gorge and these are the keychains all finished up and as you can see they're no longer beveled I have added on the top and bottom and there's the pop-up phone stand that I told you about all right you guys have a good one